Britney Spears' role went on as the princess of pop during the late 1990s and early 2000s. Her first two studio albums, Certified Diamond in the US Baby, One More Time, 1990, and Oops, I Did It Again, 2000s, were global success and became two of the best selling albums of all time. Along making her the best-selling teenage artist of all time, she was ranked by the Billboard as the 8th biggest artist of the 2000s decades. However, her life was upside down completely later as from Britney Spears. A documentary film exposed the contradictions of American womanhood. Britney Spears, who became that famous, would have been treated badly. Since 2009, the singer was declared unfit to manage her own affairs, and that's why her life and her money are large under control of her father, Sammy Spears who has been appointed conservator by the court. Britney was trapped in the literal court ordained victory. Spear herself petitioned for the court of poet, a different conservator, saying that she was afraid of Sammy. Her independence was nicely curtained by Rick the Falter. The documentary nominally bet to the conservatorship legal battle that had been doing since 2019 is really on account of Spare's career and how she became a symbol for a victim of the media's misnogyny. Her life through the height of farm as teen pop sensation and into the mental health crisis, legal troubles, and slow recovery that have been released. A young girl is like a symbol for all of its uncertainties about sex and manhood at the door of the 21st century. Also, as mentioned, a talented singer with a powerful singing voice whose parents are determined to raise neighbor her gift for performance nor the opportunities that is resented. The singer Baby One More Time where is a catalyst school rocket her to the cult of fame that few performers ever achieved and that few people would be able to survive. Britney was at once a person and an industry, becoming the center of the celebrity media apparatus and her body, her brother's life become objects of speculation and routine for anonymous masses of strangers. Particular people were interested in her sex life, interiors, most of them meant all enough to be her father, asking about various body parts, whether she had yet said yet what sort of men she would have sex with, if she have having sex. They approached her with the defenders or kindness. Despite the truth that she was a silly young girl at that time, the content of their conservations were decidedly into the audit. For years, Britney had achieved the impossible, maintaining the performance of a sexual, welcoming, non threatening femininity in front of a demanding audience and between womanhood's contradictions and manhood's answers, it was not easy. The effort 
broken. Mr. Spear has been her conservator since 2008, giving himself the power to control most of her life and career decisions, as well as her finances. And now there is a court that she wants her life back as she said that the ruling rescue her from the collapse, exploitation by redactory individuals and financial ruin. A free Britney protest took place outside the Los Angeles courthouse in 2008, but it didn't end the conservatorship. Her father still served as sole conservator, but her person remained unchanged. And now, people are looking forward to her liberty, which she deserves in life. What do you think about this video? We are trying to send good messages to you. Please subscribe to follow us. See you next video. Thank you.